everyone and welcome back to another video and today I thought we would do something a little bit different but I just thought you know what I've been around now on, I've been around on YouTube now for quite a while probably I think about three years and I just thought you know what it's time to let you in a little bit and sort of let you get to know me and I thought I would do the too much information tag so I've got a series of questions here and I'm going to answer them for you and I just thought it's nice sort of like I say to, to get me to get to know me a little bit better and like have a little chatty sit down video I'm always doing makeup videos and I just thought it would be nice to do something a little bit different so the first question we have got is do you have any tattoos now the answer to that is yeah I do have tattoos I have one tattoo I have a dream catcher on my right thigh I have done a tattoo Q&A video not long after I had the tattoo done if you would like to watch that video I'll link it down below for you guys you can give it a check out if it's something you would like to see so question number two do you have any piercings Yes, I do. I have two piercings. I'm not a huge fan. Um, I'm a bit of a wimp when it comes to pain, considering I've got a dream catcher this big on my leg. Don't know how I sat through that. But I've got my ears pierced once, and I've also got my belly button pierced. I don't think I would have any more piercings, though. So, number three. What's the last thing that made you cry? The last thing that actually made me cry was me and Dalton at the moment are absolutely hooked on watching Shane Dawson. Now, if you don't know who Shane Dawson is, he's another, like, massive American YouTuber who does quite a lot of videos about conspiracy theories but he also does a lot of like stupid shit and a lot of funny videos like videos basically throwing random stuff into a microwave and it's just I know it sounds ridiculous but he is hilarious like he's so funny he actually like makes me cry with laughter he's that funny I literally had tears rolling down my face when I was watching one of those microwave videos because it was just absolutely hilarious what's the last thing that I watched Luther I was watching Luther last night on TV I absolutely Absolutely, like, ugh, Idris Elba, I mean, come on. He's the man, isn't he? Like, he's such a good actor, he's incredible. How we actually got onto it is I follow Idris on Instagram and he posted some videos. He's on in Tomorrowland, which is in Belgium, it's a massive festival, and he's DJing, and I was like, that's it, I need to watch Luther again. So we were sat watching Luther last night because I absolutely love it. If you haven't watched it, it's an amazing programme. It's basically like a cop detective series. It's a British drama, but it's just incredible. It's it's just the acting and it's incredible. It's such a good series. I definitely recommend you checking it out. And it's on Netflix if you want to watch it. Name a place that I want to visit. There's a couple of places that spring to mind. Now, the first thing that I the first place that I've always really, really, really wanted to go for some reason. I mean, I've been lucky enough to to travel quite a lot and, and I've been to quite a lot of places but I've always always wanted I don't know why but I've always wanted to go to Italy and I still would really like to go to Italy and then the second thing that I would really love to do is I'd love to do a road trip around America I've been lucky enough to go to Florida um, about six times but I absolutely love America like it's my jam like I love it and I'd really like to be able to travel around America you know get a little camper van and do road six, route 66 and all that like it would be amazing number six the last time that I said I love you I say I love you to Dalton all the time when he got up this morning to go to work I said I love you to him think of that it's really important to be affectionate to the people that you love and it's not a negative thing to say love you and, and like in previous relationships I've in a previous relationship like I used to always be told or oh, don't say love you all the time when you say it, it loses its meaning no it doesn't like if you love someone tell them you love someone because you just, I know it sounds dramatic, but you just never know what's going to happen. And, like, I'd rather leave a conversation with someone telling them that I love them, knowing that they know that, than end it in a negative way. Like, I don't know if that's a bit deep, but anyway. Number seven, who's my favourite actor? Number one, Denzel Washington. Like, I love him. I'm obsessed with him. He's an incredible, incredible actor. He's insane. If you haven't watched him, he's in films like Two Guns, he did Fences, Bone Collector. Like, he's incredible. And my favourite, favourite, favourite film of his is John Q. It's probably a film that a lot of people don't know about because it's one of his older films and it's actually one of them that's not excuse the swatches from my previous video that's not well known but it's in his acting is just insane it's basically long story short it's about a little boy who needs a new heart and john and denzel washington plays his dad john q and he basically in the end takes over this hospital to try and save his son but the emotion in his acting is just it's like you feel every emotion that he acts it's incredible and my other favorite actor is Idris Elba I love him he's incredible like I was just saying he's in Luther and it's amazing 
and who else do I love? I love Leonardo DiCaprio, I love Great Gatsby and Will Smith, like I used to be obsessed. Who else do I love? And Heath Ledger as well, like God rest his soul, Heath Ledger was incredible. 10 things I hate about you, A Knight's Tale, like what's my favourite quote? Question number seven. Never let go of your dreams. I've got it tattooed on me and I'm a big believer in if you've got a dream, follow it, chase it. Don't stop until you get to where you want to be because that's the only way you're going to get to where you want to be. If you sit back and do nothing, you're never going to get to where you want to be. Number nine, how long does it take you to get ready on a morning? To be quite honest with you, you'll be shocked because on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm going to work, because I work with our Claire now, my auntie, I don't take long because I don't put makeup on. I literally get up, throw my clothes on, have a, you know, shower, clean down, brush my teeth and I'm ready to go. If I'm putting makeup on, anywhere up to an hour if not longer because I literally like I'm one of these girls where I'm literally all or nothing so I'll be either you will see me you'll be surprised no scrap of makeup hair in a bone um jogging bottoms and a vest top or I will literally be like full on all glammed up to the nines lashes everything like I, I'm one or the other I really just don't do basic makeup very well number 10 do you smoke no no I definitely know I don't smoke I I've got asthma and it makes my chest really, really bad. Number 11, have you been cheated on? This is a bit of the past. It's fine. Like, it's over and done with. Yeah, I have. And the guy that I was with, you guys have probably heard all about it. It was my ex. I was with him for seven years and I'm pretty sure he cheated on me. I know he definitely cheated on me twice. It was probably more than that. Anyway, yeah, moving on. 12, have you ever been heartbroken? In the past, yes. Moving on. Number 13, a movie that always makes you cry. A movie that I absolutely love is Me Before You. And I don't know if any of you guys have watched it, but it's incredible. I've got Sam Claffin. I can never pronounce his name properly, but he's an incredible English actor, another great actor that I love. And it's got Amelia Clark in it, who plays Khaleesi in Game of Thrones. And basically, he's in an accident. He ends up in a wheelchair and she has to care for him but they have such a funny comedic relationship they fall for each other and it's sort of just it, but it's just so sad in the end but it's incredible and the other film that I love is called Love Rosie and again it's got Sam Claflin in it because he just does an incredible romantic comedy and it's got Lily Collins this is Dalton's doggy let me show you Summer. Hello. Sorry, yeah, so it's called Love Rosie and basically they're like friends from childhood. They're two best friends and like they're basically in love with each other but they never tell each other they're in love with each other and they end up with other people and it follows their like whole story of eventually getting on. It's just incredible. It's such a good film. So number 14, what do you think about or worry about the more? I always, always, always worry about money. I don't know why. I'm never skinned. I'm quite good with money, but I just worry about money. I don't. I think that's everyone though. Like everyone worries about money because you always want more than what you've got. No, blah, blah blah blah. And it's a big vicious circle. And I do worry about. Oh god, this is quite an emotional thing. Um, I do worry about family members getting old, and I'm quite close to my nana and um my auntie and things like that. And I do. Sorry, I do worry about them getting older. I just don't know what I do without them. Um, so that worries me as well quite a lot. And I. I am, I do suffer quite a lot with anxiety, like you would never think, and I do overthink these things and, 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 and they cog away in my head and I think about all these, I, it just, it's hard, and my nana's got dementia and, and I find it really hard because like I've always been so close to her and it's hard, like if, I don't know if anyone that watches this has got family members with the dementia or have, have been through it and, and they just turn into someone that, they just end up, it's almost like a sort of, they end up in a little shell like in their own little bubble and you can't like sit and have like how I used to go to my nana and tell her everything I can't sit and have a full-blown conversation with her any mommy like she's there and I can talk to her and I can take her out but it's, it's just hard it's hard number 15 have you got any disgusting habits due to my anxiety I really really badly oh god I don't really want to show this but I you can't really tell unless my fingers are wet but I really badly bite my fingers I bite I don't bite my nails so much but I bite the skin really badly around my fingers which is a bad habit and I also pull the split ends out of my hair which is quite naughty my like hair and nail thing is like a nervous stress thing so I tend to only do it when I'm nervous or stressed. Number 16, what's the worst gift I've ever received? My own gift re-gifted. Like, it's not a bad thing, like, great. Like, I bought you the gift, it was an amazing gift. But you decide to give it back to me after I bought you it. Hmm, not naming any names, but I think that's a bit of a shitty thing to do, sorry. Number 17, my favourite hol holiday destination is America. I absolutely adore America, I think it's amazing. Like I said, I've been quite a few times and it's just one place that always sticks in my head. I do also love the Greek islands, um, Kefalonia, Crete, and I do really want to go 
to Santorini. Number 18, do you miss anyone? Now, you guys probably know from watching, God, this is quite, I didn't expect this to make me feel emotional, from watching my life update video that I've had a few problems with home and obviously me moving here has meant that I couldn't bring Buster with me and I really, 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 really miss him. I miss my dog, he's like my baby and I miss him and I miss Oscar as well which is our other dog. You'll know them if you've followed me for a while and um, they're always in my, they always were in my videos. Number 19, onto a lighter thing. Have you ever lied to get out of trouble? I've told white lies to get out of trouble. Quite a funny story is when I was a lot younger, me and my sister both had Furbies. My mum and dad bought, like, when we used to go to America, we used to go toy shopping and they used to buy us a lot of our Christmas presents. And we both had a Furby. She broke hers. I walked downstairs and I dropped mine out of my hand but i blamed it on shannon and they believed me up until like about a few years ago like they believed that that's what had happened i was like shannon you've broke my furby honestly like how bad's that that's bad isn't it i shouldn't have done that number 20 what's my sexiest feature dalton would probably say my boobs on my bum <laughs> i have got an hourglass figure which i do love i just need to lose a bit of weight because i've got a bit of podge but I love food, who doesn't? I would probably say my eyes. I do think I've got really nice, like quite blue eyes. I quite like my eyes. Right guys, that's that's it. That's I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you've enjoyed sort of getting to know me a little bit. I'm sorry about getting emotional. It's just quite a hard subject for me to talk about. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. I upload Monday to Friday, five days a week. And I shall see you in the next one. I really appreciate you guys and thanks for watching. Mwah. <laughs>